friends thank you for coming to my channel i thought i'd take you along today on my weekly kind of a deep clean that i do around the kitchen and the floors and i thought i would just take you along kind of show you what i do some little hacks um but yeah let's go ahead and get into this beautiful day if you are new here i am so excited you're here i would love it if you would subscribe and follow along and if you are returning it is so good to see you So first things first, moms are always vacuuming. I am telling you, I vacuum every single day. I feel like I don't like food laying around everywhere. And I, with two little ones, it's just inevitable. It's always everywhere. So first thing I do, especially on days that it's a little bit more of a deep clean, I will be sure to vacuum first. And a little side note here, my kids always want to be up in my arms or near me. So I try to exclude parts with my kids completely in them, but sometimes it was just inevitable and I had to hold my daughter for most of all of the cleaning. Okay, second step, you guys, Clorox wipes are the way to go. I have done a shower clean with me before and they got the really, really hard stuff out of the, like the hard water stains. They got most of that out of it. I don't know what it is about Lysol or Clorox wipes because they are absolutely incredible. So with these tile floors, I feel like they get dirty all of the time. We do not allow shoes in our house. And even then it still feels like they get dirty all the time. So what I'm gonna do today is go through every inch of this square tile and just do a little bit of a deep clean with that using a Clorox wipe. As you'll see, it really is kind of crazy how dirty they are. I try not to let my kids kind of crawl all over the floor while I do have this like Lysol, Clorox kind of stuff all over the floor. But after I mop, then it is okay. <laughs> sure this is just a phase but you guys athleisure is so wonderful i feel like i live in yoga pants and sportswear all day every day and now it's worse because this month was kind of difficult for us um especially me i felt like i was kind of in like a slump uh mentally emotionally physically just kind of needing to get out of my own way i have been spending more time at home because the kids needed me at home and that's just been a little bit hard on me. I have always been like a working working person, always out of the house, four to five days a week, 10 hour days plus. So it's just been really, really hard on me. I don't know if any of you stay at home moms that are that used to be working moms have experienced that, but gosh, it is so, so difficult. But now that I'm home a little bit more, we decided to get a Peloton and you guys, it has been a game changer. Although I live in the yoga pants and the like the workout gear and my hair is usually straight out of the shower, just air dried, I love it. I've done like the cycling, the yoga, the meditation, the cardio, the strength training. I still haven't done like the running or the walking, any of those, but there are so many options on there. It is just so incredible. I'm so excited about it. We got it about a week ago and I have already used it five days in a row. So yay i am hoping to see progress and to have more energy i feel like i can already tell that i have more energy so just some wonderful news no. some people might say i am afraid but i just do things my own way i don't know why because i don't like people pleasing and so I 
I usually use like a Norwex, but I couldn't find the pad for the Norwex, um, like the wipey part. So I just wet it with water and I wash the entire floor. You'll see it kind of split up between washing the cabinets and washing the floor because my son was had already lost all of his clothes and was walking around. So I had to delete a lot of the videos, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, the point is after I do all of this, like Lysol, Clorox, kind of clean, deep cleaning of the floors and like the baseboards, I didn't videotape that part. I should have, and I still will. I'm sure I'll make another video, but then I wash all of the floors. You guys, also something that I feel like isn't done enough in a lot of houses um, is cleaning all of the cabinets, like wipe, wiping them down. I see handprints like a lot. It's not just my house because I know because I've seen them at other people's houses, but um, yeah, wiping down the cabinets is really, really easy. I can't reach the very, very top, but at least I can wipe down the areas that like I touch, my husband touches, and the kids touch. Um, you'll kind of see there's like handprints all over, and this is like every like three to four days I feel like I have to do this, but once it's all done, I feel like the kitchen is so much cleaner. Like it just feels more refreshed. Brand new street and brand new me Side by side by friends I need don't you tell me that you're in town I already know Couple days ago Hey, now that our names are written in stone Let's be honest, sounds like home Still I'm here alone and I'm calling your phone I wish I could wipe my own memory out I wish I could dream about somebody else I wish I could talk when the silence so loud I wish, oh I wish I wish I could wipe my own memory out I wish I could do something that would make sense I wish I would know what you're thinking about I wish I could wipe my own memory out
about the appliances. I feel like that is such an easy thing just to wipe down really quick. It's crazy how many people touch that. Working in a hospital, I realize like where like the dirtiest surfaces are. And you would be surprised at how dirty a fridge is and how many people touch that and how not often they are cleaned. So that is just something that I like to clean. Um, the microwave, the inside of it, I didn't plan to clean the inside. There's not much to clean on ours, but I did end up spilling tons of water inside of the microwave right after I did all of this cleaning. And so I ended up having to clean it. I didn't film that part, but I did. The last thing I do is the stove. I want to make sure that it's clean from any kind of food on top of it. I feel like if you don't clean the stove often enough, it ends up kind of changing like how it looks it almost looks like it's dirty and it's so hard to get things out after a while so i like to do it pretty much every day just to make sure that it is clean I am so curious how many people wash their curtains I did not know it was a thing like I didn't know it was a thing um, these I had to wash because my kids well one of them specifically ended up like throwing this um, like puree of sweet potato all over two of them and so I just figured I would wash them all I still need to steam them because now that they came out of the dryer I do need to clean that but it's okay at least they're clean and they are up last thing I do is I do a quick clean of the blinds so instead of dusting every single one individually I do that sometimes but in this case I just turn them in up and then down and then just do a quick wipe through just so they are clean all right you guys thank you so much for watching my video I really appreciate it if you have any tips on quick deep cleaning that you do around the house um, please let me know I love suggestions all right you guys have a wonderful beautiful day Absolutely.